Hallo, meine Damen und Herren, und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Video. I don't know if that was correct German or not. Oh well. But uh, yeah, welcome to another beer review. And uh, as you can tell, we're going back over to Germany. Uh, it's been a long time. And um, I said when I came back from Germany that I would do my best to source as many German beers, traditional and craft, uh, to cover on the channel because um, with my seven years on and off living in Germany, I was just, you know, inundated with traditional beers, a burgeoning craft beer scene, um, you know, traditional family brewing, just Germany has got to me the most like culturally rich heritage when it comes to beer and it's definitely my favourite beer producing country and the great thing about Germany is great food so you've got fantastic beers to complement uh, fantastic food I should have said fantastic food to complement fantastic beers. But um, yeah, this is like take five. Um, unfortunately, half of the beer is gone because it um, ran out of battery. And um, yeah, I was, I was just rambling on. Um, it's not even like just take two. This is like take four or five now uh, because I just couldn't get it nailed down. And it's a real shame. I hate it when this happens, but I'm going to carry on with the review and uh, tell you guys about the beer, which... I have clearly drank and smelt and analysed, but I'll I'll go over it again. So uh, yeah, today we're going over to the Eyinger Brewery, or Eyinger Privatbrauerei, who have been around since 1878, and uh, yeah, one of the, the big boys, um, very well known, I'd say. And this is a bottle of the Alt Bayerisch Dunkel, which is a Dunkel beer. Now, I picked this up from Booth's um, a few days ago. Uh, for it was like for just under two pounds or a little bit over two pounds so for the price not too bad and uh, booze had actually a quite nice range of beers uh, they had some stuff from Hackabshaw, Erdinger, Eyinger and of course Bein Um you know a lot of the stuff that you, you, you find in other places but some nice surprises including this because I don't know you don't really find too many dunkel beers um, it's always either like just lagers pilsners hefeweizens uh, rauch beers or doppelbox that you tend to see a lot more of um, for me my own personal experience don't you know hold that opinion with a pinch of salt i'll take that opinion with a pinch of salt but um yeah so when i saw that there was a dunkel beer i was like yes i'm gonna get on it because uh, i do enjoy a good dunkel beer I think it's a, it's a criminally understated style within the world of uh, German brewing. And uh, yeah, it's one that I don't think I even saw too much when I was in Germany, which is weird. It, it's amazing how, you know, regional uh, the beers can be and the beer selection is. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very excited about this one. And uh, as you can see, I've pretty much demolished at least half of the beer. And as you can see, it's a lovely sort of a oakiness to it. Lovely sort of like um, reddish hues in there. Like a really dark, intense copper. Almost like a lead pipe look to it. Uh, crystal clear. Not too heavy on the carbonation. And uh, the beer poured with, well, you can't really see it too much. But uh, it had like a slightly pale beige looking head. But uh, yeah, a very handsome looking beer when it was actually, the glass was actually full. But oh well we'll just crack on with it so uh, it looks good let's see what we get on the aroma <sighs> big sweet tones in there it's not like sugary sweet but it's got this sort of like um cake batter sweetness to it like that you've got loads of like brown sugar in it has that slight banana bread batter aroma to it as well but yeah, you know, you've almost got like a, a Danish pastry character going on with this one, which is absolutely wonderful. Like a cinnamon swirl. There's like lovely sort of like these sweet cakey spices that you find in baking. You know, it's literally like walking into, you know, a, a German bakery. Because you smell it, you get these lovely sweet decadent flavours. But then underlining that is this lovely spicy breadiness. 
which has that sort of like rye character, but it also blends into the pumpernickel style bread. Very earthy, nutritious smelling, if that makes sense. But yeah, you get lovely spicy tones mixed in really nicely with that sweetness. And then you get that muskiness from the malt build, which is, you know, I find throughout the, the varying um, styles of lagered beers. But um, it smells absolutely wonderful. It really, really does. So let's give it a taste. Prost. And it delivers what you get on the aroma, albeit slightly less sweet. Still has that cakiness to it. Still has that, like, pastry character. But that breadiness comes out a little bit more, um, like a very nice dense brown bread. Nice and earthy, nice sort of spicy tones mixed in with that sweetness. It's not a heavy beer by any stretch, it's a rather light one but it's not watery. That being said, it coats the lips and the inside of your mouth really, really nicely. It's got that like slight decadent luxury feel to it. or decadent luxurious feel to it I should say it's lovely stuff and you know get nuttiness in there it's like caramelised nuts that's that like slight the, the, the syrup that uh, that prunes come in in like jars and stuff that sort of character as well but it's just a lovely blended beer um, it's not a complex beer by any stretch it's very simple it's very precise simple flavors but it's executed really really nicely is it the best of the style uh, you know I'd, you'd be hard pressed to make that opinion because of just how many breweries there are in germany that churn out the traditional beers like this but i'd say for the more established ones you know it's got the style spot on but I don't enjoy this as much as like uh, Velten Kloster, uh, Veltenberger Kloster's, like, um, oh, what was it called? Baroque Dunkel. That's a beautiful example of the style. Or um, what else do we have? Paulana Dunkel. That's a really good example. Um, Augustina Dunkel. A lovely, lovely example of the style as well. But I would not say no to having multiple bottles of this beer. It's taken me back to when I was in Germany, autumn time. We've got a lovely stew slowly cooking in the background. The apartment's getting a little bit warmer. Do you know what I mean? It's It's got that sort of like coziness to it. And I'm probably adding a little bit too much sentimentality to this review. But I think that's it's bound to happen because if you look at my channel, just how many German beers I reviewed, it's like more than half of my channel is solely dedicated to German beers. And it's such a shame that we don't have the exposure that I'd like here. I mean, you know, Beers of Europe does a great job um, exposing us to German beers. I'll have to, you know, get like a mixed box from them at some point. Because, you know, I've got a hell of a lot of time for German beer. Um, it's they're some of my favourite beers in the world. You know, if you look at my top five, I think at least three of them are German beers. Dead cert. And I don't think anyone brews beers like the Germans. And uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how the, the craft scene develops over the next few years as well. But um, yeah, it's it's a it's a taste of my second home. Um, it's, a, it's a bittersweet experience for me because as much as I'm enjoying it, it's just making me miss the, you know, German beers that much more. But if you come across it, guys, definitely give it a go and for that price point you can't go wrong that is just it's such a solid example of the style nails it perfectly but the only thing stopping this getting from like a 10 out of 10 is because i've had plenty of other dunkel beers that i've enjoyed just that little bit more even and union and union do an absolutely beautiful craft dunkel beer absolutely phenomenal beer and uh, yeah, this is definitely still in that upper echelon of uh, the style. I don't mean to take any points away from it in that regard. So in terms of the rating, I'm going to give Eyinger Alt by Rishdunkel a 9 out of 10. It's taken all the boxes for me. It's, you know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful beer. And if you get the opportunity to try it, then definitely do yourselves a favour and give it a go. 
And while you're at it, pick yourself up a bottle of the Iinga Salvatore Doppelbock because that is just out of this world. It really, really is. So if you have tried this beer, then of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you a fan of the style? Are you a fan of the Iinga Brewery? Do you like German beers in general? Um, I cannot recommend Visiting Germany enough. Get yourself a cheap flight. Get yourself a cheap Airbnb. Spend a week, a few days, a long weekend there. And uh, you will enjoy it, especially if you are totally into your food and if you are into your beer. Because this is like, this is one of those perfect beers that's going to go well with pretty much any cuisine. You could cook so many wonderful things with this. This would be perfect in like a steak and ale pie or like a really slow cooked stew with braising steak or some gamey dishes. But at the same time, it's like a perfect Brutzeit beer. You know, get yourself some buns, different styles of breads, a few cheeses, uh, hams, sausages, salami, <coughs> pickles, boil yourself some eggs, get yourself some cream cheese, garlic butter, get your family and friends round and have a really fantastic brunch and get a few bottles of this because it's going to complement that sort of stuff perfectly. Beautiful stuff. Um, I can't praise it enough. And it's been fantastic revisiting um, German beer. Um, and I will hopefully be getting a lot more of that covered on the channel because, you know, I, I've said it time and time again, nobody brews beer like the Germans, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, call me sentimental. Maybe I've attached too much emotion to this beer review, but um, I don't care because it, it's taken me back. And uh, that's what it's all about, you know, happy memories and all that sort of stuff. Uh, of course, I, I'm one of those people who says, oh, beer is just beer. In the right situation, beer is just beer, but beer can be a little bit more than just beer in other situations. Anyway, I'm waffling on for no reason. Check out my Dunkel Beer playlist down below. Check out my German Beer playlist down below. Uh, I think I've only reviewed the Doppelbock, the Salvatore. So I'll put that review down below as well, because that's a beautiful beer. Of course, check out Iinga. Uh, if any of my friends have failed beer triggers have reviewed this one, their links will be down below in the description box. And uh, yeah, thoughts, opinions on this beer, the style, uh, German beers in general, always appreciated. And uh, your viewership is always appreciated as well. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And uh, yeah, long may it continue. And I shall hopefully see you in the next video. Bis gleich.